I'm going to present data on the immune checkpoint inhibitor atezolizumab in patients with metastatic triple negative breast cancer. We treated 115 patients with atezolizumab. These are all patients with metastatic disease. Most of them had at least one or two prior lines of treatment for metastatic disease. A small group of those patients also had no prior treatment for metastatic breast cancer. It was the expansion phase of a phase one study establishing the, the optimal dose of atezolizumab. We had 115 patients, all with measurable disease, some appreciative, some not. Patients were initially selected by positive pd one expression, but later on we also allowed patients with low or negative pd one expression in the study to get a better feel for, the, for pd one as biomarker in terms of response to signal agent atezolizumab. With three really important findings in this study we are presenting today, the first finding is that Artesolizumab works very well as signal agent therapy, but the best responses are seen in patients who receive the treatment as first line. In first line triple negative breast cancer, the response rate was 26%, whereas in later lines the response rate was just under 10%. The second important finding is that if patients, uh, respo if patients respond to artesolizumab, they have a very long duration of response, the 21.1 months on average, which if you compare this to the median survival of patients with metastatic triple negative breast cancer, which is between 9 and 12 months, this is a very significant results. The third important finding is the survival data of patients treated on this study. The medium overall survival in this study was unfortunately as expected around nine months, but the survival of patients who responded to atezolizumab was 100% of these patients were alive after one year, 100% of the patients were alive after two years, which is a significant result and very different to what we normally see with chemotherapy and triple negative breast cancer. The treatment is generally well tolerated. What we saw in this breast cancer cohort is very much in keeping with what we know from immune checkpoint inhibitors in other diseases. About 10-11% of patients had grade 3, 4 toxicity, which again, if you put this in context with what we normally see with chemotherapy, is a very well tolerated treatment. So the first implication is that we know if patients respond to immune checkpoint inhibitor therapy, they have a substantial benefit with a long duration of response and probably a significant prolongation of survival. The downside at the moment is it's a relatively small percentage of patients who, who benefit from single-agent immune checkpoint inhibitor therapy. So our efforts are now focusing on, first of all, better characterizing the patients who do respond, but secondly also to find better treatments, better combinations that more patients will benefit from this. One of those uh, conclusions is already to combine immune therapy with chemotherapy. There are large randomized phase three trials ongoing that explore the combination of chemotherapy with immune checkpoint inhibitors, including atezolizumab in metastatic triple negative breast cancer. We will hopefully see that this treatment has a benefit over chemotherapy alone and that more patients will benefit compared to single agent immune checkpoint inhibitor therapy.